This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike. My name is Mike. How are you all doing today? I hope you're having a relaxed day up until now because things are about to get very, how do I say, unrelaxed. Initially I was like, yeah, this is gonna be so chill. This is gonna be so chill and fun and fresh. I'm gonna rank like 30 Pop Girl album covers. It's gonna be so much fun. How many album covers could there possibly be? And then we run into the problem of what is considered a pop girl album because there's a lot of rap girlies here. I'm not gonna leave them behind in the dust. Hello, pop music, popular music. It's popular to me. So I guess a more accurate way of phrasing this is I'm ranking 210 albums by the main pop girls plus some of my favorites, plus some albums that you sent me on Twitter. And when you put that all together, it just has a nice ring to it, you know? It just flows off the tongue. Before we get started, I need to do some disclaimers for my own personal safety. If an album is in the lowest tier, it does not mean I think that album cover is bad. Okay, everybody, I'm not saying any of these are bad. Next thing, and this is extremely important. Think of the most important thing that you've learned this week. Forget it, this is more important. The songs on the albums, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the cover specifically. The thing about this video is we are judging the book by its cover. Also, I will put a link to this tear maker thing in the description so you can have a go yourself and you can experience the fear. Like it's gonna be bad for me, I know that already. In terms of the tears, I did something that is truly never before seen on this channel before I didn't go over the top we have galactic slay and then a b c and d now galactic slay is just it just can't be an a b c or d like it's just something that transcends I think I'm gonna calibrate using Ariana Grande and I'm gonna start with Ariana Grande my everything now that is just it's c and I don't know if I can explain it it's just based on pure vibes but thank you next like that is an a Right, do you get what I'm saying here? Dangerous Woman is an A. Sweetener is an A. I don't know. Sweetener is a B. Yours truly is a C. Positions is a B. <sighs> Let's go ahead and keep calibrating by doing Britney covers. For me, Blackout is the quintessential Britney album. But again, we are judging it by its cover. Blackout is an A. Britney Jean is a C. In the Zone is, I think it's Galactic Slay. Something about this, like it's just the fact that she is like, outrageous. like she really is serving and she is slaying. And I know some people are gonna be mad about that, but you need to deal with that by yourselves. Obviously Circus is an A. Baby One More Time, like that's a D. I'm not a big fan of that album cover. It gives me like a kind of weird vibe. I don't know how to explain it. Britney self-titled, I think that is very like product of its times. And I love the aesthetic and her outfit and the colors and everything. So I think that's gonna be a B. Now the thing is we are about to encounter a problem. And that problem is Charlie XCX because this girly doesn't really know how to not slay. And this is the problem for our tier list. Let's get this out of the way. The suck a cover look it's a C and true romance I sorry but this is when things get crazy because pop 2 there is no way that, that is not a galactic sleigh and I'm gonna say the same thing with number one angel like those two those covers you know what I mean? Charlie Charlie, which me saying that sounds like I'm trying to summon a spirit. That is an A. I'm gonna put Crash in Galactic Slate and I need to explain this because this is not just for her. This is also for Iggy Azalea because Iggy's In My Defense cover is so great. I think it is so excellent, but it's too graphic and it looks like she's just been run over by a car and YouTube will be like, um, excuse me, why is that on youtube.com forward slash Mike's Mike? Like you need to get that off there right now and I will demonetize you and all your further existences on this website. So this kind of, you know, hot girl just got run over by a car aesthetic, Charlie's doing it for her and Iggy and that's why it's gonna go galactic. I'm not gonna lie to you right now. I'm kind of screaming in shock and fear at these Beyonce albums that I'm gonna have to rank. But you know what I'm not scared about? browsing safely online because this video is sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN, a virtual private network available as an app and a browser extension that lets you not only access content from all around the world, but also protects when you're browsing online. A two for one deal perhaps, and a piece, yeah. Let me set the scene, right? You've just traveled internationally, you're so crazy for that. You've got to your destination, suddenly you can't access your shows from home. But then you remember, Surfshark has your back and has over 3,200 servers in 95 plus countries. And babe, that is nearly half of all countries I checked. How many countries? 
195 countries. That's crazy. So you can use the Search Shark extension to change your location and access so much more content. Also, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Some of you just don't browse safely. It had to be said. And that's why it's handy to have something like Surfshark to protect you while you're doing such browsing online and stopping those nasty, nasty girls from trying to take your data and sell it. And let's not pretend that there aren't features like Clean Web, which prevent ads, malware, and phishing attempts. Also, Surfshark offers one account on an unlimited amount of devices. So I've got it on my laptop and I've also got it on XEX Tina Sal Barbka Spears, which is the name of my PC. If you would like to give Surfshark a go, head to the link in the description and use my code Mike's Mike. That's M-I-K-E-S-M-I-C to get 83% off plus three extra months for free. Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk for you to try it out for yourself. Don't forget to check out that link in the description and use my code Mike's Mike. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. All right, gamers, we need to be serious. I know you think this is a game. It's actually not a game. That's the thing. Lemonade by Beyonce is Galactic Slate. Like there's absolutely no question about that. Now, Beyonce dangerously in love. I do think there needs to be a federal inquiry into this album cover because this is too excellent. And also her hair forms like a little love heart on the side. Are you actually joking? So I'm going to go Beyonce dangerously in love is Galactic Slay. I am Sasha Fierce is a Beyonce self-titled. Look, the album itself as a cultural moment, the drop and everything, the album rollout, like, yeah, that is so galactic. But in this context, it's literally just the word, like the name Beyonce on a black background. I am fighting for my life right now. Now, Resplaisance, I was going to put that in galactic, but when I look at at Dangerously in Love and Lemonade. I like those more, so this is an A. Let's get one thing straight right now, and that is Dua Lipa Future Nostalgia is absolutely top tier. Maybe I should go through at the end and just give myself one attempt at putting the top row in order. That's gonna be so, like, I don't know if I can do that. Now for Miss Adele, we've got three albums here. So what have we got here? Is that 21, 25, and 30? She loves a number. I would say 25 is either A or Galactic. Adele 21 is a, uh, that's a, that's a B. And then Adele 30 is a B as well. Next up we have like, oh my God, this is just, this is a joke. Mariah Carey, The Emancipation of Mimi. Like, what? The hell, she was sick for this. We belong together. And we do, that's the thing. And that's Galactic Slay. Like, do not even joke right now. That album cover. This is serious stuff. This is just. I wasn't in the right headspace. Is she serious? You know what, while we're here, Gwen Stefani, Sweet Escape, that is Galactic. And Gwen Stefani, Love Angel Music Baby, that is also Galactic. Next we have Camille Cabello, Romance. And I know a lot of you want me to put that like as low as it can go, like underground, like in the mantle, in the earth's core. But I actually like this album cover and it's gonna go in the A section. Should we do the Katy Perry ones? This is gonna be, oh my God. Obviously Teenage Dream is Galactic. We are not here to play games. One one of the boys I would say is an A and then I'm going to put smile as like a C and then I'm going to put witness as a B and then prism as a C. Now let me explain. What you need to remember about me is that I love a concept but then smile being clown concept it's cute, but I don't know if it's like an album cover cute. But then for Witness, I like that concept more than Smile and Prism. Prism, I think, is very 2013. Mitski, Be the Cowboy. It's galactic. Like, it's, I'm going off gut feeling and that's my gut feeling. Azalea Banks, 1991 EP, so not specifically an album cover. I love this though. I love the colors. I love the framing. I love the font. So that's an A. Brie Runway, 2000 and Forever. Yeah, I love this one as well. That's an A. Pussycat Dolls, Doll Domination. We need to have a discussion of this because there is so much going on here. So we have the girls on their motorbikes, which have their initials on like a plate at the front then obsessed with their outfits like it is giving road safety it really is then the font on doll domination is a little bit criminal like why is that the font but then we're not even done because you need to look closer in the background there's the coliseum there's the eiffel tower is the taj mahal there is that the empire state building like Okay, but then it doesn't end there because on the road, it's got Paris, Sydney, Los Angeles. And in my head, I'm fully convinced that Nicole Scherzinger did this because any piece of Pussycat Dolls information that I come across after the year 2015 is just more evidence that she did literally everything. So Nicole was at that computer at 2 a.m. She had studio time the next day. The paparazzi were beating down her door 
as she was at the computer getting the job done. That being said, Pussycat Dolls, Doll Domination, it's a D. <laughs> Jesse Ware, what's your pleasure? I like the portrait ones, but whenever I see a portrait album cover, like there needs to be something going on. And what I'm getting from this is she is on her way to the disco. Like she is about to break down the door of the disco. She just had to, you know, she just had to. Don't get mad at Jessie because she was late. You shouldn't have started the party early. You know what I'm saying? Stacy girls, it's going down and it is going down. And I'm going to put this in B. Lana Del Rey, Ultraviolence. That is an A. Lana Del Rey, Born to Die. That is an A. Lana Del Rey, Born to Die Paradise Edition. That's a galactic slay stream Lolita. Miss Del Rey, she actually refuses to give us a... I was going to say she refuses to give us a bad album cover. I take that back. In recent times, there have been some issues that were corrected. They were corrected. Norman fucking Rockwell is a galactic slay. Not to be all Taylor Swift right now, but I did something bad and I put in a few single covers just because they were so slay. Like, how could I not? Like, Rina Sawayama XS, this one. I've got to be honest about it. Like, that's galactic. Stacey Girls, you know, this one's going to be an A. Just because I think it really shows the concept for this album really well. Eyes Wide Open, that's an A. Girls by Esper. I love this album album cover but then just in terms of the girls aren't on there you know what I mean like they are the girls aren't girling on the cover oh yeah definitely Sophie oil of every pearls uninsized that is absolutely galactic here we have another Rina Sawayama single cover or is this like an EP cover or like an LP this is the altar life cover I think she just doesn't know how to not slay and surf I can't fault her for that this album here was suggested to me on Twitter and I kind of screamed a little when I saw this because this is potentially one of the best album covers that I've seen in a long time like this is excellent now i've got some arca albums here if i put these on full screen youtube susan specifically will email me she'll be like why is there boob why is there boob on youtube video mike's mike so i can't show you these you're gonna have to trust me and then look it up yourselves this purple one makes me want to scream it's so good that's galactic and then i also really like the lava one i can't keep living like this this is too hard they're all excellent ava max heaven and hell that's a b brie runway b runway that's an a Azalea Banks, Broke With Expensive Taste, that's an A. Carly Rae Jepsen, Emotion was going to be galactic, but then something like out of this world happened. She dropped the picture of the new album cover. So Emotion is A, and then the new album cover is galactic. Do a leap of Club Future Nostalgia. Like, I know you want me to put this like, again, with Camille down in the earth's core, but I think this one is, I actually really like it. It's an A, it kind of gives me high school art project vibes and I love that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a bunch and then explain some of them, not all of them, because otherwise we will literally be here until 3008 and we'll meet Fergie and the Black Eyed Peas. Caroline Polar check Pang. <laughs> In the video. Billie Eilish, Happier Than Ever. Yeah, she knew what she was doing with that one. And then when we all fall asleep, where do we slay? Like that is an A, why lie? Miley Cyrus and her dead pets. This one, it scared me, okay? When I look at this, I feel fear. I feel fearful, it's D. Bangers, I would say is C. The geometry, it's a lot. And as an engineer, you know, like me and geometry, we're like this, like we see each other, I get geometry. Can't be tamed. Ooh, she kind of nibbled a little bit on that one. That's a B. I'm considering moving plastic hearts to galactic. What do we think? What do we think people? I'm trying to think what you would be thinking. I know some of you are screaming at me to put it in galactic and you actually might be right. I love that album cover. One thing about Megan The Stallion, she is going to serve on a cover and it's actually beyond a joke at this point. So we have the album cover for Good News. That's an A. Fever, in my opinion, is galactic. Like I love that concept that's going on there. Also, Tina Snow, same thing. You know, I love a concept. This is kind of like a magazine cover. And then also something for the hotties. Like, this is ridiculous. That is... <sighs> Let's do Lady Gaga. Now, you all know how I feel about Lady Gaga. I literally did a 25 minute video talking about art pop. So it's going to be no surprise that art pop is galactic. Born this way, I'm going to do two things controversial. The first controversial thing is I'm going to put this in galactic. And the second thing is I'm going to put Rina Sawayama, hold the girl in Galactic as well. The reason why I did these two at the same time is because back in the day when Born This Way came out, people were like, why is Lady Gaga a motorbike? And then when Rena debuted the Hold The Girl cover, people were like, why 
is Rena a balloon or also another thing that is like six letters and starts with D. All I'm saying is you might not get it. You might not understand it yet, but babe, give it some time and you'll get there. Trust me. Ugh. Star is born like Bradley Cooper's on there. Like, why are you there? This is not about you, this is about Lady Gaga. Chromatica, like, come off it. That is Galactic. And then the remix album, I would say, is an A. The Fame, yes, the album is iconic. I don't think the album cover for The Fame is as good as her other ones. So I would say The Fame is B. The Fame Monster, because as I said, you know I love geometry and the hair and the jacket. Like, I could not ask for more geometry. So that's Galactic. And then Joanne is an A. I think I've said this before, but last year I went to a Halloween party and I dressed up as the Joanne album cover. And this guy was like, what are you dressed up as? And I was like, the Joanne album cover. And he was like, so you're dressed as a flop. And I was like, I was flabbergasted. I was standing there like, what the hell went wrong in your life for you to have such an incorrect opinion? It was weird, it was strange, it was scary. Iggy Azalea, End of an Era. Oh, this is so good. What the hell? This is so excellent. End of an Era is A. End of an Era Deluxe is just excellent. <sighs> now, Miss Rihanna, Miss Riri, right? Re, we're friends, I call her Re, and she calls me M. That's just how we do things. When she went into the studio and she came out with Unapologetic, people screamed. And Anti, like that's gonna be galactic 100%. And then also Good Girl Gone Bad Reloaded, like this lean. Look at the material. I don't like the Solar Power cover. But then Melodrama, oh yeah, what? What? Something happened internationally. It was an international event. The FBI, MI6, the CIA, the Secret Service, the Yakuza, like everybody was involved. The Mafia was in shambles. I put Pink Friday and Pink Friday Roman Reloaded in A because the Playtime is over cover, which I think that's a mixtape, right? This, oh, what the hell? Someone sent me the Bang Bang single cover and I like a little bit went into cardiac arrest when I saw this because surely that is not real, but it is. Looking at this, I think someone needs to be fired. Someone needs to be sued. There needs to be legal action taken against whoever was involved with this. Class action, class action, everyone get involved. Controversially, I went and finished the rest off camera. Like I did the other eye off camera guys, off camera. Um, but I'm gonna talk through the ones I added to Galactic Slate. Janelle Monet, Dirty Computer. Need I say more? Look at this, it is like, beyond. Kylie Fever. It was such an amazing opportunity to have been given. She was joking. Like, she can't be serious with how serious she slayed. Like, something happened. This one here, people might yell and scream at me, might smash their TVs, but I do think Ancient Dreams and Modern Land is galactic. Like, I love this album cover. Like, the font, her stance, the framing, like the focus, the outfit, like it's just all excellent. And her hair, like hello. Nama Sender Unlimited Ammo. What? Like, <sighs> I think this one would have to be in the top 10 of the top list because it's just, we did it. While I do love this album, I think this is a great album cover because it shows her like essence, the pink essence. What? <laughs> she's edgy girl, like she's edgy 2000s girl, like some of you wouldn't get that, like she graffitied the wall and she is misunderstood, like that's just pink. Grimes Player of Games, single cover, and then we have Rina Sawayama, Sawayama. This girly just does not take a break, like she does not know how to not slay, I can't get mad at her for that. And yeah, all four of the Rina Sawayama covers are in the galactic tier and you can't even get mad at me about that because you know it's right. You know who else has a 100% strike rate in this tier? Slater. We have the self-titled 2019 album and then Troubled Paradise. Concept! It's a concept! Like the one where she's like... Like Gollum in the... I did not just call her Gollum. <laughs> Gollum in the sun tanning bed. I need to stop, but you know what I mean? Girls Generation, fourth mini album, Mr. Mister. I gave everyone something a little bit different. The four, Girls to the Power of Four Generation. <gasps> like the breathing thing, like hello. They said like emergency protocol. Another person who gives me Rina Sawayama vibes in their inability to stop serving, as in they can't stop serving because they're always serving, Miss Tanache. What the hell was going on here? Tanache Rascal and Songs For You. This Rascal like single cover, she went that hard on a single cover. 
<laughs> and you did it at my birthday. And then obviously, without a doubt, we have Repuslation. I know this is unpopular, but I think Repuslation is Taylor's best album. Argue with your peers in the comments. You can't argue with me, it's against the rules. When Taylor opened Photoshop on one window and Illustrator on the other window, things changed forever. Like she said, oh, you wanna talk about me? I'm gonna talk about you talking about me on my album cover. Like imagine if Reputation didn't have this album cover and it was just like her in the woods going, like the other ones, like it, it wouldn't make sense. The second last one is Charlie XCX, XCX World. And I'm pretty sure this is not even at all anywhere near official. This is probably fan made, but it is so excellent. And it feels like what the unreleased tracks sound like. And last but not least, we have Christina Aguilera, X Tina to you, Bionic. It's conceptual, it's engineering, it's music, it's slay. Like she did this for me. All right. That's all 210 albums ranked. Um, I'll put a photo version of this somewhere so you can check out and judge my rankings if you want. Sorry if I offended anyone. Sorry, sorry, sorry. If you would like to do your own, there's a link in the description to do it. I need to decompress. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave me a like, leave me a comment if you've got something to say. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Check out their link in the description. And thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Peace out, bye.